Welcome home, Dr. Roman. Peace be with you, and we look forward to talking to you soon. Hi, Peter. These past few weeks and days, it's been really nice to see a little bit of that love and caring you've offered so many people for so many years. Coming back to you a bit from family, friends, supporters, fans. Welcome home. Love you. Welcome home, Peter. We're so happy for you. Looking forward to seeing you on Mount Adams. Hey, Peter. How are you? Welcome back. It's been said, into each life some rain must fall. But holy cow, this tsunami of rain you've been surfing, eh, just too much. Glad you're back, my friend. Look forward to seeing you. Be well. Hey, Peter, welcome home. Good to see you here, or somewhere near here. Bye. Hey, Peter. The Joyful Noise Boys want you, you, you to be joining us very soon and singing to folks all around our city. Welcome home to Peter and Deb. We are so glad to be able to have this celebration. Congratulations and continued good health. Hi, Peter. We're so glad to have you back in Cincinnati. Can't wait to see you in person. Love you. Bye-bye. Hey, Peter and Deborah. Welcome home. We're excited that you're back. Stay strong. Thank the Lord that, um, that uh, you're strong and uh, you fought through this and you have an incredible will to live and fight. And that's exactly what this takes. And God bless you, Debbie, for taking such great care of our Peter. Hi, Peter. Linda and I are overjoyed, ecstatic, delighted that you're home. We're looking forward to celebrating with you in the not too distant future. Sending lots and lots of love. Hey Peter, uh, this is a little welcome home from Beethoven. Welcome home, Peter and Deb. I'm so happy to hear that both of you are back and working toward resuming your life. Looking forward to seeing you at church and wish you all the best. Hi, Peter. We are so glad that you're on the way home from Minnesota and on the road to recovery. Congratulations, Peter. Welcome home. Always be work for your hands to do. May your paws purse always hold a coin or two. May the sun always shine warm on your window pane. May a rainbow be certain to follow each rain. May the hand of a friend always be near you. And may God fill your heart with gladness to cheer you. Welcome, Welcome home, home, Peter, Peter and, and Deborah. Deborah. Welcome home, Peter. We can't wait to have you visit us here in Florida. Peter, we are so glad that you and Debbie are on your way home. We have really missed you guys in the neighborhood. See you soon. Hey, Peter, great job getting through what you just got through. Welcome home and take it easy so you can recover fully. 
We're thrilled that you did it again. Congratulations, Peter. Welcome home and welcome back to Deb, your devoted caregiver. Way to go, Peter. Your strength and your courage are an absolute inspiration. And I am certain, even in your suffering, that you're gonna benefit so many others. Welcome back to the Natty. Welcome home, Peter. Say welcome home, Dr. Ruhlman. Yeah. Hello, Peter. Even though we haven't spoken in 25 years or so, I'm glad you're doing well and wishing you all the best for your recovery. Your former au pair, Alexandra. Hey, Peter. Greetings from Panda Mike Studios in Clarksville, Maryland. I'm sure I'm glad to welcome you home. I want to say thanks to Deb and Gail and all the friends who contributed in putting together this video. It sure has been fun. Last thing to say is, Go, go Peter, go. go! Yeah, baby! So my dad um, was really sick. He um, got a stem cell transplant at Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Um, and he had always said kind of sarcastically, if I don't come home in a casket, I want to parade down Oregon Street. And so that's what we're doing today. We're having a parade down Oregon Street. <laughs> um, so it's re been really cool. A lot of people have come out. Um, really exciting that that's what they're spending their Saturday after, or Sunday afternoons doing. So. And just kind of how special is that? You see all these people, you know, up and down the street right here, um, and more probably are you know, on their way, so how special is that to you and your family? Yeah, I mean, it's it's so incredible. You know, it's one thing that people say, you know, we're there for you if you need anything, and today they're showing up, and there's a lot of people here, which is really cool. And then how has this process been, you know, for your dad and for you guys? Yeah, I mean, I think it's been really, really hard. Um, you know, my mom is an awesome woman, but she is not medically trained. So I think it's been really hard for her, especially to kind of step into the role of nurse. When, you know, she doesn't really know that, but um, that's why they went to Mayo and they've had like really awesome care. My mom said every single person they interacted with there was incredible. Um, so it was really nice that they were able to get that professional help and it wasn't just all on my mom. And then can you talk a little bit about your dad just as a person? My dad's awesome. Um, so he was an oncologist for many, many years. Um, you know, no matter what anyone ever needed, he was there. He would answer the phone in the middle of the night. Um, you know, it sometimes drove my mom crazy, but he was always there for everyone else. And so I think it's really cool that everyone is here for him today. So uh, about your dad, just about kind of his process of where he was to where he is now. Yeah. So um, they said day today's day thirty. So days five through fifth through fifteen were the worst, um, and so the, now it's kind of the uphill climb. But he's obviously not a hundred percent ready to go, you know, run a marathon or anything quite yet. But um, it's kind of interesting because they killed his immune system. He um, is gonna have to get all of his vaccines again. So, like, think of like a newborn baby coming home with no vac no vaccines. That's my dad today. <laughs> so yeah, so lots ahead, but you know we're excited that he's not at the hospital and is able to be back at home. I feel like he's came a long way and kind of proved just the fighting ability. You know? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. he went to a rehab facility for, for some physical therapy and. You know, he said, my goals are I want to go home Saturday and I want to be able to walk independently and do everything I need to do independently. So we missed it by a day. It's Sunday now, but <laughs> pretty close. So really cool. Is there anything else I'm ask you if you want to talk about? I don't know. Anything else? Thanks to Gail over here for uh, putting it all together. <laughs> um, but yeah. Perfect. Easy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, Dakota. Hey, where's my puppy? Is this my puppy? She's mad at you. Are you mad at me? Yes. Oh, it's in. 
special homecoming today for a beloved Cincinnati doctor who's facing serious health issues of his own. Dr. Peter Ruhlman spent the last two months being treated at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Our Brad Underwood reports from Mount Adams where Dr. Ruhlman was welcomed back home. With signs, noisemakers, and even a bagpipe, friends and family of Dr. Peter Roman welcome him home after spending six weeks at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. We weren't sure he was going to be coming home. And, and so everybody's just ecstatic. Diagnosed with amyloidosis two years ago, Roman recently got a stem cell transplant. Today, he and his wife, Deborah are back home. Oh my gosh, it was so wonderful. It was just wonderful because we didn't know when we were going to be home. The well-known oncologist of 30 plus years apparently joked that if he made it through the transplant, and there was a big if, he wanted a homecoming parade. Well, he certainly got his wish. To just celebrate his coming home, you know, um, celebrate him surviving the, the struggle. Uh, of, of what he's gone through. Peter is just one of the best doctors I know, first of all. <laughs> he's just a great guy, great individual. And Debbie is just, they're also genuine people. You don't meet people like that very often. Ruhlman is a man who's touched so many lives and saved so many lives. And for all of these people lying in the street, it's a parade they wouldn't miss. It brings a sense of community to know how many lives he's saved and how many people he's helped, not just through LLS, but his career as being an oncologist. We love him. We love him. In Mount Adams, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And the family hopes the procedure will give them five to ten more years with Dr. Ruhlman. We'll look forward to that. A very special homecoming today for a beloved Cincinnati doctor who's been sick. Peter Ruhlman spent the last two months being treated at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Our Brad Underwood is live in Mount Adams where there was a special welcoming party that happened this afternoon. This must have been an unbelievable sight, Brad. Well, hi, Joanne. Yeah, it was really cool to see the neighborhood and friends and family from all over come together to welcome Peter Rollman home, the West Side native, uh, of course, now living here in Mount Adams. Certainly quite the scene for him and his wife upon their return from Minnesota this afternoon. People lining the streets with signs and noisemakers, even a man playing the bagpipe, leading the parade uh, through Mount Adams to the Rollman home. Uh, these people from all over the tri-state with various connections to Dr. Rollman. A Rollman, an oncologist for more than 30 years, was diagnosed with amyloidosis and recently under, underwent a stem cell transplant. Now, it wasn't a given that he would even make it through this process, and that is why so many people showed up here today. Peter is just one of the best doctors I know, first of all. <laughs> He's just a great guy, great individual. And Debbie is just, they're also genuine people. You don't meet people like that very often. He did it again against all odds. I think of him as Warrior Peter, who has stared down so many challenges and obstacles. Now for several health concerns and uh, reasons we did not get to interview uh, Dr. Roman today, but we did talk to some members of his family. You're going to hear from them tonight about how he's doing, the road ahead, and how all of this and what it meant for them today. For now, reporting live in Mount Adams, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. All right, Brad, we'll be looking forward to that report. In the meantime, the family is hoping that the recent transplant will give them five to ten more years with Dr. Ruhlman. People in the... ...awaited homecoming for a local doctor with a dangerous diagnosis. Thanks for spending your Sunday with us. I'm Evan Millward. Dr. Peter Ruhlman's a well-known oncologist and just had a stem cell transplant for a rare blood disease. Reporter Kendria LaFleur is live in Mount Adams where the neighborhood welcomed him home with a parade just a little bit ago, Kendria. Yeah, earlier today, many of his loved ones lined the streets. Many of them held up signs wishing him well. You can see some of those signs in a balloon that says, Welcome back. Now, this was a quick return for him. It was actually, excuse me, this was actually, sorry, it was a surprise that also included bagpipes to celebrate his remarkable survival of the stem cell transplant. It's what he asked for before leaving for the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota at the beginning of June. 
There was a chance that this transplant could have been fatal because he also has an autoimmune disease. In fact, the doctors who treated him said they had never performed this transplant on someone with both rare diseases. The surgery could have been fatal given the circumstances, but he survived in his back home. It's the first time many of his loved ones have seen him since the diagnosis, which made this homecoming even more special. We never thought this day would come. We really didn't. There were so many times during the course of this transplant procedure that, that either it wasn't going to happen or he could have died. And he knew that. And he's always gotten through everything, everything that, that's happened, he's, he's soldiered through. But this one we thought was going to be it. This was it, because having two diseases in one was really, mm, that's rare. I mean, we just didn't think it, it would it make it. And Ruhlman has been nicknamed the unicorn by the doctors who actually performed the procedures on him because, again, this was the first time those doctors had performed that procedure with someone with two different, two rare diseases. Reporting live in Mount Adams, Kendra LaFleur, WCPO 9 News. Kendra LaFleur, the news. People say, you know, we're there for you if you need anything. And today they're showing up and there's a lot of people here, which is really cool. A long-awaited homecoming for a local doctor with a dangerous diagnosis. Dr. Peter Ruhlman is a well-known oncologist who just had a stem cell transplant for a rare blood disease. Today, many of his loved ones lined the streets in Mount Adams ready to welcome him home. The celebration is what he asked for before leaving for the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota at the start of June. Complicating this procedure, Ruhlman has a second rare diagnosis, an autoimmune disease. The surgery could have been fatal given the circumstances. We never thought this day would come. We really didn't. There were so many times during the course of this transplant procedure that, that either it wasn't going to happen or he could have died. And he knew that. And he's always gotten through everything, everything that, that's happened. He's, he's soldiered through. But this one we thought was going to be it. To the point the doctors nicknamed Ruhlman the unicorn. It was the first time they'd performed that stem cell transplant on someone with two rare diseases. Mm -hmm.